Hey there, YouTube. Brother Briar, joining you tonight. Taking a break with a pipe right now. Been working on a little project here in the garage, which I'll talk about more in here in a minute, but housekeeping. To start off with, I'm smoking my Paul Morningstar with an excellent fall blend, in my opinion, which is McClellan's Cyprian mixture. I think I've mentioned that quite a bit <laughs> in the last uh, two or three months. So, anyway, enjoying that tonight. As for the project I'm working on, I am attempting to assemble a workbench uh, to be used here in the garage. And uh, looked online for something that was cheap, inexpensive, but uh, you know, was very functional and allowed me to organize a lot of my tools and whatnot. So anyway, found something that was uh, kind of met the criteria I was looking for. And tonight I went out and bought all my materials. And I needed a, I needed a few tools, so mind you, but ended up spending about 180 bucks, which isn't too bad in my opinion, um, considering that you could go pick up a workbench. You might be able to get one for cheaper than that, but it's probably not going to be very good quality in my opinion. You're probably More of your you know, five to six hundred dollar range for a quality workbench. So I think that's what I'll be making myself. Um, but for the price, you know, for a much lesser price. So anyway, went out, got the materials. I don't have a lot of power tools. So these two by fours that you see stacked there are were all hand cut. And let me tell you, that is some exhausting work when all you have is a hand saw and a miter box. So. <laughs> Took me about an hour and a half to two hours to cut all that. <laughs> I'm ashamed to say, but you don't have a lot of power tools. That's what you do. And that's what they used to do back in the back in the day before they had power tools. It was backbreaking work. It's people that built America, right? Got a whole new respect for them. But anyway, so got my two by fours cut down to size. And you can see my half inch plywood there stacked. I didn't have to cut that. The people at Lowe's graciously cut that for me. Those were originally, or that was originally one sheet that was four feet by eight feet. Um, and they got this nice kind of upright saw that they can do vertical or, or vertical or horizontal cuts with. And uh, it's pretty nifty, pretty cool to watch them use it. I'm sure it was thousands of dollars worth of equipment just in that one piece of equipment. So anyway, pretty cool to watch, but uh, had to cut it anyway to get it in my SUV to take it home. It'd be nice to have a little pickup, but don't have anywhere to, to park it right now. So maybe in the, maybe down the road I'll get a pickup truck and I can do a lot of this stuff myself. But anyway, just wanted to give you a little quick update before I get too far into my project. And uh, probably stop here in a few minutes. Once I, I'm a little, you know, got a little more progress with it and show you where I'm at and then maybe one more time and show you the final product. So, okay, so here's what I have so far. Um, I didn't get to finish it last night because I had, uh, I didn't have a fully charged drill, so that limited my progress. Um, so, kind of got the, the bones of it, of the bench top in here, or the bench done. Um, it's, got a, it's got a lower shelf and then I'll have an upper shelf it'll uh, fasten into the sides of the workbench there. So you kind of get an idea for what it is I'm making. And then uh, I should be able to finish it here in the next uh, half hour to an hour. So that's all I got for now. So I'll touch base here once I've got it finished and show you the final product. All right. Okay, so I finished the workbench for the most part and I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. There's a lot of storage and shelving space and I think I like the way I've got my tools laid out for now at least. kind of like the idea of having things that I'll use more regularly down here on the left and things that I don't use as often or want out of the way kind of down to the right there. Um, I mounted up a power strip on the left here on the framing and it's just a six port uh, power strip so it should allow me uh, to run quite a few things at once if I need to. 
Um, right now I got my drill battery charging. And then eventually I'm going to put a shop light uh, up underneath. I'll mount one to the underside of that top shelf. Uh, I did buy one, but the one that um, the one I bought I didn't notice is one that you would hang up like on a ceiling and run wiring to. Um, and I want one that I can just plug straight into my power strip here and turn on or off. So I'll eventually have that done. Um, from a kind of use standpoint, I think this will be pretty functional. It's about three feet high. So I should be able to easily use it while standing up, you know, without straining my back. Um, and also even put a little bench down there or a stool, uh, something that I could tuck up underneath there and get out of the way as well. So anyway, there you have it. Uh, I had a pretty good time making this. It was not uh, very difficult necessarily. It might help you to have an extra hand just to hold things in place, but uh, my wife was busy watching our daughter most of the time. So... Um, it can be done if if all you have is yourself. I'm living proof of that. So, and I don't have a ton of experience uh, with wood woodworking, but uh, this was simple enough. Someone with a little bit of experience or little experience uh, can do. So, I'll put the instructions to how I made this down in the bucket. If you have any interest in making this yourself, and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, any suggestions or improvements on how I can make better use of the space or whatnot, feel free to leave your comments. Um, but yeah, so hope you like it and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.